What is going on everybody and welcome to part 37 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part we are going to begin work on our custom scoreboard. This is going to be a multi-parter because there is quite a lot of stuff to go over. So let's go ahead and get started with part A. So to begin with this, within our game mode folder that houses the con commands, custom, underscore, menu file, and all those other files, let's create one more Lua file here. So let's do that now. New text. And we will go ahead and call this something such as custom underscore scoreboard or whatever you want. So custom underscore scoreboard dot Lua. And yep. Now with this, we want to go ahead and open this one the custom scoreboard.lua. We also want to open up the init.lua and also the cl underscore init.lua. And all that we want to do within these init and cl underscore init.lua files is go ahead and add this client side lua file. So just like we're doing here, we want to go ahead and do it again in our init.lua. So add cs lua file. And this is called custom underscore scoreboard.lua. Save that one, and once that is done, you can go ahead and just close out of it. And then also in our seal underscore init, we want to include custom underscore scoreboard dot Lua. And now that we have the custom underscore scoreboard included in both the server side file as well as the client side file, we can go ahead and actually begin work on drawing our own custom scoreboard uh, in place of the default scoreboard. So for this to work, we want to go ahead and use two GM functions within our custom underscore scoreboard dot Lua file. And the first one is function GM colon scoreboard show. And let's go ahead and make sure that's spelled right. And this will house all of the drawing that we need to do. And also it'll be in charge of actually showing the scoreboard whenever we press tab. So after that, we want another one, which will be function at gm colon scoreboard hide. And just like this says, this will go ahead and hide that menu whenever we let go of tab. So let's go ahead and start. Actually, let's go ahead and create a variable up top here. And this will just be a local variable, local. And we're going to be calling this scoreboard derma. And we're just going to set this equal to nil for now. And this variable is just going to be in charge of our derma menu. It's going to have all of the different stuff we need in order to get that derma set up with its properties and later on allow us to show it and hide it. So now within our scoreboard show function here, we want to first of all check to make sure that if colon or exclamation point is valid. So we want to go ahead and check if scoreboard derma is not valid. This exclamation point right there is just saying not is valid scoreboard derma. So if scoreboard derma is not valid, then we want to go ahead and run some code here. And this code that we're going to be running is just going to be setting the values that we need for our derma menu or our scoreboard to show up. First we want to go ahead and do scoreboard derma and set this equal to vgui.create d frame. So now we have a D frame here that we can go ahead and add some values to in order to set the size, the position, and all of that other fun stuff. And the first thing we want to do here is go ahead and set the size of it. And you can set this to whatever you want. I'm just going to set mine to 750 by 500. After that, we want to go ahead and do the position. So set position or set pause. And this is going to be smack dab in the center. So screen width divided by 2 minus half of the width, which would be 325. And then the same thing over here, instead of width, we want height, so screen height, divided by 2 minus half of the height, which would be 250. So that'll go ahead and put our derma menu smack dab in the center of the screen whenever it is shown. Next up, we want to set the title, scoreboard derma, colon, set title. And again, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to throw in something extremely generic, which will be custom scoreboard. Next up, we want to put whether or not this is going to be draggable. Since I don't want this uh, scoreboard to be draggable at all, I don't want people to be dragging it around wherever they please, I'm just going to go ahead and set draggable to false, like so. And then we want to set whether or not we want to show a close button. 
for this case since it is a scoreboard and it's going to automatically close when we uh, let go of tab we do not need a close button so we can set show close button equal to false like so next up we want to go ahead and make this look a little bit fancy so we're going to go ahead and call the paint function on the scoreboard derma variable so scoreboard derma dot paint equals function and then within here I'm just going to do something extremely simple which is just to draw a rounded box so draw dot rounded box and in here the first thing is the corner radius and I'm going to have a corner radius of about five so we have a small amount of curvature to the corners of this derma menu and then the x position the y position the width of it and I'm going to set it to the width of the derma menu which is going to be 750 but we can just use the handy get wide function and same thing with the height here we can just do get tall and then the color of it I'm going to set it to a somewhat darkish gray with a full opacity now this is all that we need to do in order to initialize our scoreboard and so we can go ahead right below this now do something that'll check if is valid scoreboard derma so if this scoreboard is valid we want to go ahead and show it so we do this by just doing the scoreboard derma colon show and we want to make this pop up because we want to be able to lock our mouse we don't want to have the camera being moved around while we're in this scoreboard we want to be able to click on stuff when we have it open and then next up we want to do a set keyboard input enabled to false and this will allow us to still be able to move our character around when we have the scoreboard open and after that we are done with our scoreboard show function so that right there whenever we press tab it'll go ahead and show it and now we can go ahead and go into game here and just in case let's reload here just to make sure that all of the new files are pulled over and can be found and now if we go ahead and press tab you can see that our new custom scoreboard has shown up but when we unpress tab it's not hiding so we got to go ahead and implement that right now so in our scoreboard hide function that we have here all that we need to do is just first of all check to make sure that if is valid scoreboard derma so if this scoreboard is valid then we want to go ahead and hide it and we do this just the same exact way as we have the show above but instead of show we want to do hide now what will happen, go back into game here, and again, just reload it. And what should happen now is that we can go ahead, open it by holding tab, and once we let go, it'll close, like so. So this is just the first part of the scoreboard, and we will be going into more detail with it about adding players and some more functionality that I have yet to decide on. But we will be going into a lot more depth with this, because as you can see, it is not really anything it's just a derma menu that opens and closes and replaces the default scoreboard but anyways thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time